What's going on YouTube? I miss you guys. I know I'm terrible. It's been forever. Um, however, my wife and her infinite uh, thrift store shop shopping sprees came across a while ago. I've been using it for a little bit now. An Oster bread maker for me. Um, she paid $10 for it. It was absolutely complete. had everything that it was supposed to have in it. Uh, basically, the way this thing works is there's a bread pan that'll set down in here, but you, you can see around here is the heating elements. Um, the pan clicks in, the heating element wraps around it. This uh, piece down here will turn the paddle inside. You dump all your ingredients in. Um, the paddle will mix the dough, knead it, it'll rise. Uh, after you go ahead and you set your settings and start the machine, it really is, as you know, making bread in general isn't that hard. This just made it even easier. Um, dump a bunch of stuff in, hit the button, and walk away. Three hours later, I come back and there's a full loaf of bread. So, uh, that being the case, let's, um, let's get started here. We'll start by putting this thing together. Uh, here is our trusty bread pan, our loaf pan. So we're going to set that down inside. There, that's clicked in place. Now we take our kneading paddle and it goes on just like that. And uh, now we're going to get our ingredients, dump them in, and uh, show you how this thing works. All right? Just a sec. All right, guys, this is real easy. One cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter, um, one teaspoon of salt, one egg, three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of honey, and one teaspoon of yeast. Those are all our ingredients. And it's just as simple as we take the milk, pour it in. Take the butter, throw those in. Um, let's see. We need, we need to measure our salt. One teaspoon of salt. messy. It works out with one hand. Salt. One egg. Getting better at cracking with one hand. That's not bad. Take a little bit of shell out. One egg. After one egg, I get three cups of flour. Alright, you guys are going to have to hold on for one second here while I measure this out. Alrighty then, Hello. and we have... Oh, other side, you can see it. Three cups of flour. Done. And after three cups of flour, it's... Two tablespoons of sugar. So let's do this quickly. Again, we'll lay it on the counter. That is one. And we'll do a second here. That is two. And let's see, we need one tablespoon of honey as well. I know, I'm making a mess on my counter. I'll clean it up in a sec. Get that good and full. Slightly over. Whoa. And into the mix it goes. All 
right. And what I will do, just for a little bit of lossage, we'll drop a little more honey in. And uh, last but not least, will be our teaspoon of active dry yeast. All right. All right. And in goes one teaspoon of active dry yeast. Now, because I'm a little bit of a whack job, I add a handful of whole oats. Put that in there. Just regular oats. And for health purposes, a good healthy dose of flaxseed. Alright. Now, we'll show you how easy this is. We're going to close this up. And I am going to plug it in. All right. I want my crust color to be medium. That's fine. Uh, loaf sized is one and a half pounds. Make sure that's there. And I'm on program one for basic. Start. There you go. We'll look in periodically. All right, guys. Take it's late. been almost an hour and a half now, and as you can see, we're rising. It's mixed into a nice dough ball. It's still doing its thing. A little steam there. We'll check, guys. Back. Okay, guys. It hasn't started to bake yet, but it's been uh, kneading and rising and kneading and rising. We've got hour and five sec five minutes left and um, it's just about to the top of the pan right now so the rising has been pretty good and uh, I'm really looking forward to this loaf this is gonna be pretty good hour and six we'll check back you'll see it nicely done all right bye bye all right and after three hours there we are with a uh, perfectly done loaf of bread nice brown crust and I'm going to take that out and put it on a cooling rack and uh, we're all done and there you have it um, took all of what five minutes to throw the ingredients in the oven and well into the bread machine and uh, press the button and walk away three hours later this is what pops out nice flax seed and oat an oat loaf, um, nice browning all the way around. Doesn't get any easier than that, guys. All right, so I'm gonna let this cool off, cut a couple of chunks, serve up some of our turkey chili, and uh, warm our bones on a rainy, damp night. All right, see you guys later. Bye.